Hey guys, today I'm going to show you most of the things that I put in my camera bag when I'm about to go on set. So let's get started. All right guys, so here it is. This is the bag that I take with me on set. This is a Think Tank Streetwalker bag. I mainly got this size because it can hold my C100 as well as my 5D with a bunch of my lenses and uh, any accessories that I may need while I'm on set. In this front pouch, I keep a viewfinder to basically uh, save me time trying to find that focal length that I may need to use if I don't have a shot list on hand. But, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of, it's just cool to have, you know, a little more uh, directory when you have this around your neck. You know, that's cool. I got it on Amazon for like a hundred some dollars a few years ago. So, you know, go check it out. Go find one. It's really dope. So inside my bag, we have the Rode uh, mic here. Uh, I usually keep my NTG2 in here, but I'm using it to record. So that's why it's all flippity flabbity right now. All right, moving out. All right, so guys, when uh, I'm on set, I usually take primes with me. Um, if I do take a zoom, it'll be my 24 to 105 that I'm using to shoot this right now, or this big boy right here, the 70 to 200. It's a really good lens. Kind of wish it was image stabilized, but even so, just pop it on the tripod, still gets a great shot. Uh, right in here, though, I keep my 24, my 35, my 50. Hold on, sorry. Lens pop, lens cap, uh, cap popped off. The 50 and a 100 millimeter lens. This right here, this lens right here is like one of the best things I bought in a long time. Like, like this, this, this focal length is is just so dope. It's, it's a uh, L series uh, 100 millimeter. Um, it's a macro lens. It's image stabilized. Like I have no complaints with this lens. It's just so dope to have. Um, if you have the money to spare, I'd say get it. It's about you know 700 or 800 dollars, I think. But it's really good to have in your uh, case, especially getting those macro shots. Right here, this is butter. Um, this 50 right here, I actually got this from a bargain bin store for 90 bucks, and that's crazy. I thought it was going to like be beat up or you know used, but when I opened up the box, it was brand new and there's nothing wrong with it. So I'd be a fool not to get it for 90 dollars. And you know, it, 50 is just a, a really good lens to have anyway. Like, it's just a really versatile uh, lens that everybody needs in a kit. For this area, this is where I usually keep my C100, but since I'm filming with it right now, it's empty. But I do have the extra battery that I use with it. Um, just good to have extra batteries. You need batteries on, pop, on top of batteries, on top of batteries when you're on set. Um, right here is a friction arm. I use this if I'm going handheld with my C100 and pop the, the my zoom recorder or maybe in a monitor on, onto it. So, you know, just got to have one of these flay on the lap. All right. <laughs> Here's my 5D, my, uh, my baby right here. Um, when I'm on film sets, I usually use my C100, but I guess I keep this around um, just in case. You never know. Uh, also, it's good to have, you might want to get some BTS video or, you know, photos while you're on set. Great link, great uh, camera to have. It's still a workhorse of a camera. Would never get rid of it. All right. Here's a case where I usually keep my NT, uh, no, not my NTG2. Uh, here's a case where I usually keep my H4N uh, to not, you know, so it's not getting all mashed up and those little, little microphone bajiggers don't get broken off. All right. Um, here's another case for my HV4, and uh, this is like uh, you can put it on your hip and you know press record. This is forever whoever's you know operating the boom. So that's really useful to have. Uh, here uh, I keep my batteries um, because I need them specifically for my H4N and my microphone. So I keep like you know about eight batteries on me at all times so that you know I can pop them in and out. So here is. Uh, my memory card case 
Uh, I have a lot of memory cards. I have so many memory cards. I don't know why I have so many. Like, I have CF cards for when I when I was just shooting with my 5D. And the fact that I have so many of these is ridiculous. Like, why do I have so many? As well as these <laughs> these SD cards, like, like it has to be like maybe 12 plus memory cards in here. Like, no one needs that many cards. Uh, I just think I was just going overboard, you know, just being, you know, safe. Like thinking I'd get like a whole bunch of footage where I fill up a card and and I need more. I need 12 more. Like what? What? All right. So uh, here is where I keep uh, my extra batteries for my 5D. Um, these are actually also for my um, Ninja recorder and uh, a small light that I have. They have adapters where I can pop these on. So these are they've they've become really useful and just not you know useless after I switch cameras so just having a whole bunch of I think in a camera bag you just need like a whole bunch of batteries just get like a whole bunch of batteries just get one part and just dedicate it to a whole bunch of batteries all right um so I can't really show you my 5D but well well hold on All right guys, so here's the C100 Mark II I was telling you about. Great camera to have, built-in ND filters, uh, audio inputs are amazing. There's my 24 to 105 that I was telling you about. Ooh, look at that butter. Mm, red rain, baby. And here's my H4N, great to have uh, on set, just get that audio, get that crisp audio going. Uh, some headphones, of course, uh, for anybody that's operating the boom. Also, here's my uh, Ninja Axemos Rotocard Alright guys, so that's most of the things in my camera bag. Uh, notice I said most. This is just like the meat and potatoes. I have a lot more stuff that I uh, take on set with me, but I wanted to keep it like kind of small and basic today. Um, hopefully you saw something that you may want to add, maybe one of these lenses if you're capable. But you're not going to get that 50 millimeter for 90 bucks, I'm telling you. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you next week for the next video. Maybe I'll do one specific one on lenses. Like I said, I was going to do the last week, but I didn't do. Uh, but yeah, Mario. Oh, one more thing. If you haven't seen the Avengers trailer, go check it out. It's so dope. Woo!